Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, August Young here, DocSports.com. Going to be touching on a free play today. Dallas Cowboys, Cleveland Browns. Browns laying minus two and a half at home here. Um, so let's get into it. The look ahead line for this game actually had the Browns as underdogs. Uh, been pretty much one-way traffic. They pushed them to two and a half point favorites here. It's crazy to think that they were dogs when this line was posted. Um, but person, personally, I think the wrong team is favored here. Look, I have Dask, Dak Prescott ranked significantly higher in my ratings compared to Deshaun Watson. Uh, Dak, you know, I think he's the third best quarterback in the league, uh, especially that it is true from a metric standpoint behind Josh Allen and Patty Mahomes, of course. He's coming off an incredible season, is Prescott. He threw for over 4,500 yards last season, had 36 touchdowns, uh, cleaned up his inception rate as well. Obviously, he had issues with interceptions uh, the previous couple seasons. He threw just nine of them. So, you know, when you're looking at Deshaun Watson, I have him outside the top 20. His completion percentage last season was just 61.7%. Uh, he had a pass rating of 84.8%, uh, not too great. Compare that with Dak. Uh, he actually had a passer rating, um, which was up at 105.9, uh, where, like, like I mentioned, Sean Watson was 84.8. Uh, besides all the, you know, the narrative of this game, I don't like Deshaun Watson anyway. We won't get into that, but he's had his personal issues. He's super inconsistent. Uh, was obviously injured a lot of last season as well. Uh, I prefer the Dallas Cowboys team here, despite their flaws. Uh, they ranked better last season in yards per play margin, yards per game margin, and scoring margin. And a killer trend I have for this one, guys. Non-division underdogs in the first four weeks of the season, they're covering 57% of the time. Uh, that's as long as they're less than six-point underdogs in the first four weeks of the season in non-divisional games. Uh, and that actually improves to 60.2% when they're listed as less than three point dogs, uh, like we have the Cowboys here. Now, the way I would attack this one, um, there is, I wouldn't just be betting this at plus two and a half. Uh, before I give out the free pick, I do wanna mention, if you're not already a client of Doc Sports, please click that link down below in the description. That will give you a free $60 account, which you can use towards any of the handicappers. Uh, it's no obligation. You get a free $60. You can use it uh, just by clicking that link down in the description. So be sure to go ahead and do that. Uh, so now, as for how I'd attack this game, the line's plus two and a half, but you can find Dallas plus 120 on the money line at a variety of sports books. When you look at derivative conversions, that line should be plus 108, just based on the fact that they are plus two and a half in market. So if you can get the Cowboys at plus 120, even plus 115, I would take them on the money line. You could also buy to plus three if you're able to get minus 132 or better. So the way I'm taking it, I'm going to split my my unit up between two ways. I'm taking the Cowboys plus 120, and I'm also taking the Cowboys plus three at minus 125. I managed to find one. So that's going to be the free play for you guys, all the two free plays. I uh, appreciate you watching this video as always. This is August Young at DocSports.com. Be sure to check out the website. Also like this video, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.